Hi everybody, welcome to Brick World, this is Mike and it's party time. I mean, that's the name of this set, it's coming from the new Nikiti line, the newest for 2018. This is probably the most colorful of the sets and all these sets are probably the most colorful ones made ever in LEGO. That is set number 41453, we have 214 parts inside, the price is set at $20 in the US 30 euro and 30 pounds in the UK in Europe respectively. We've got uh, a bunch of awesome things here, four characters included and probably the coolest character to ever appear in Lego. This is the Hawkadile, a crocodile and a hawk. And that is quite understandable as we are in the cartoon where we have mix-ups of most ridiculous things like a unicorn and a cat, obviously. Uh, this set it's gonna be really fun to get for many younger fans. It's very colorful, as all the other Unikitty sets, basically. And for $20 we get quite a few things. The price to piece ratio is still pretty good. All these sets are below 10 cents a piece. I think the best one is the Fairground Fun, which gives you below 8 cents a piece. So I, that's really good value, but you have to remember that many of these sets, if not all of them, uh, include a lot of small parts and a real bunch of extras, so that's where the price goes down, by far. Alright, let's check out this small set by starting off with the minifigs, of course, with the Kraka, sorry, Hawkadile. <laughs> so, what we have here is a brick build Hawk in shades with crocodile body and um, boxing gloves. Yeah, completely ridiculous, but I think it's my favorite character of the whole bunch. The mold for the glasses and the mold for his beak are new uh, proprietary parts and if you can see the glasses, or let me just take it out to show you, maybe I can just boom. It's a, it's a very specific piece, actually it's, it's one piece together, I mentioned it's a beak and glasses, but it's together, so it's a 1x3 with modified front. Really cool part, I can see the use of it in many places and it also um, shows that they did pay some attention to details because the glasses are just they have this just much of a tilt you can see they're not like perfectly flushed with the brick it's like a you know three degree angle there so that's really cool just a little detail from the cartoon uh, the character has full prints of course there are no stickers on any of the characters there are stickers in the sets but if that's a brick that goes towards the character there is a print i'm talking about those feathers on the side those are printed tiles and this dot here too really nice <laughs> he gets the fist that he can actually let me just show you he can hold other characters the opening of his uh, glove is just perfect enough to fit a one by one brick and it actually sticks there there is the enough tension it's basically a fitting lego element so that way he can basically hold our characters and be probably the coolest guy in the whole cartoon this guy is as ridiculous as awesome at the same time, we've got uh, his wings in the back. I think there is also a new mold, we don't see that one quite often, it's quite different than what we used to see in uh, wings in LEGO. So guy has a bunch of, you know, unique things to it and um, looks just exactly like in the cartoon and it's gonna be the main selling point of this set by far. Of course the characters joining him are the Unikitty and the Prince Puppycorn. Those guys are non-exclusive, Unikitty is getting I think the same face expression in the whole wave, but she's getting also the collectible series, so you know, we're gonna have different versions of her and her friends in the blind bags, plus the comic con figure and the Lego movie 2 sets that are coming uh, in some time in the future, so she's gonna get more versions of her by far, but this is the most uh, accurate one to the cartoon show. Prince Papicorn also gets the same thing, again I love those um, ear tiles, dog ear tiles that are proprietary to this guy and she's, he's getting a ball for his tail instead of the beautiful wavy tail that Unikitty is getting. And the fourth character in this set just standing shy in the back is uh, Master Frown. Yeah, this guy also appears in one other set. Brick build statue with a frowny face. There's a print of course on a 2x2 round tile. <laughs> This guy looks fun. There's a bunch of characters that are ridiculous, he's one of them. Uh, I think we have a mix of like happy characters and frowny characters, there has to be some sort of, you know, other spectrum of all this crazy colorful rainbow happiness in there. So I think he represents that 
But uh, let's get this party going. Let's move those guys out of the way. Check out the builds. We have a moving cake. There is the build for the whole party. There are some presents. Everything is set up. So, first things here is this cake. Really nice build. Um, it's, I mean, simple. It's simple, but I think it looks very appealing, very tasty. Uh, just around brick with some elements. We got the new flower elements used as a frosting on the top. We get the ice cream elements and just a bunch of one by one studs. Overall simple, but look at the colors. We get the nougat, we get the darker pink, we get the lighter pink, uh, light blue and white in just one single build. Kids will love that thing probably the most, but same can be said about the party build. Uh, it has a few features here, so let's get Mr. Frowny on the dance floor so he actually can get some, you know, some better mood in there. Uh, we can get, you know, uh, Prince Papicorn on the dance floor. This thing um, just rotates, so that's the function. You can actually get some uh, elements of lights here, you can move them around. Let's, let's get some dance music going, but we need the DJ. So in the back, you got the DJ post. You can see there's the uh, opening here to fit uh, a cat, unicat minifigure. <laughs> and we got the prints. Those are prints? Let me just check if those are prints. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Those are prints. Printed tiles, so a bunch of really nice elements here. I don't think... I'm gonna check if this set has stickers, but I don't think because Jack built this one. Yeah, there's a sticker for the party time sign. So uh, only one sticker so far. That's good. Uh, and I think we have stickers for the presents. Yes, so presents have stickers too. We also have some balloons Those are unfortunately not the new parts for the balloons. Uh, remember we got like new pieces for I think collectible series 18 I wish they were uh, appearing here, but otherwise they pretty much look good next to the build and we get also two columns for the sound system so for a $20 set, you know, there is not much happening here, but again the price to piece ratio is pretty good Mostly thanks to the small parts that we're getting two presents here with stickers the uh, blue one and the uh, pink one Those have unicorns as gifts you can close them off like that and that is the whole set So again, I think for $20 many people will just get it for the uh, Hokadile uh, fig build fig, but he's a character so we're gonna consider him a minifigure for the collection and that is I think the best uh, looking character and the most ridiculous one in the whole wave if he was like a had like a special collectible blind bag I wouldn't mind but he's probably too big for that and I don't think we need a really different version from him uh, because that beak uh, with the sunglasses with the shades is looking ridiculously cool plus the wings plus everything about this guy is just I don't know what the writers were thinking like just like mix two animals that have nothing to do with each other and get them into one single character and that's basically what happened and that is what Unikitty is all about. Ridiculousness, uh, fun, uh, not being serious whatsoever. Uh, even it shows in such a small set. And that's gonna be it for this short review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, you can leave a like and subscribe to our channel. You can always uh, hit that notifications button to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much to LEGO for sending those sets to us. We did have a blast building them, surprisingly a lot of fun, even though we're not really into um, those younger themes, I mean themes for younger fans. But this was a lot of fun and those characters will definitely stay in our collection and the uh, Hokadile will be one of the main points to <laughs> appear on the shelf. Really enjoyed this guy and I hope you did too. Thanks so much for watching, it was Mike and I'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Hey, thanks for watching this video. As always, you can leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, you can head over to our web store at www.brickvault.toys. You can find awesome models there. All these guys that I have on the table are available in the forms of instructions and parts lists. Every purchase you make supports our channel and also the designers that are working with us on those um, amazing models. So consider doing that. Thanks so much. And it was Mike. I'll see you again on Brick Vault.